uh, comic fist. No Harry Potter movie is good. You need the Snyder God. Oh, sorry. Just walk in front of you here. I'm gonna put my pop with him. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna put this here. <laughs> Universal needs to sue Sony. Hey, I'm an idiot. I was fired from Fox. Let me go. <laughs> I'd like actually to see Venom just crush Spider Man. Hello, everyone. So the following is a is part two of the part one, which was released about two weeks ago on San Diego Comic Con and the breakdown. So yeah, have fun. Bye. All right, and then next up, uh, May fifth, twenty twenty three, we have uh, Guardians of the Galaxy three, long, long anticipated. Yes. Are you excited for Guardians three? Like. Very excited. Yes and no. I think. I think. I think. No, I'm not very excited. Okay. I'm, I, I'm at most a little excited. I think James Gunn is a very talented, uh, uh, I guess, writer and director. I think. I think he does both. Yeah. Uh, I think that uh, I love the Guardians themselves. I was glad to see them just a little bit in uh, Love and Thunder. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I uh, I don't know where this story is going. We're gonna have Adam Warlock, which is interesting. We're also gonna have the High Evolutioner who created Rocket. Right, we're gonna have the high... who is the high evolutionary? My comics knowledge is failing me. Uh, the high evolutionary is essentially a character. Um, not not the biggest like knowledge of that of this specific area, but um, yeah. the high evolutionary essentially is a guy who exper- like has is like kind of like the collector in a way where like, but he experiments on people and kind of like creates these frag. He's like Frankenstein in a way where he like, creates the monsters. And kind of like mm. hybrids and, and, and does that kind of thing. All right. I mean, I think that makes sense for Rocket's origin, but we'll we'll see how that turns up. Uh, I really don't have that much to say about it. I guess they've confirmed this will be the last Guardians movie. Which, which we I expected, think is fine. I think. I, this, is what I, this is what I expected. James Gunn, I think, had a lot of bad blood with, with Disney. So I, I while, while I'm glad they got him to come back, I, I, I don't see him really being too thrilled to do a lot more work. Yeah, and I think they're kind of. I think that relationship's done after this. I think. Yeah. I, and I think the Guardians, honestly, I think they're a three movie thing because it's a team, right? Yeah. These characters three movie thing. Now, in five years, if I it, would I be surprised if they give us another Guardians movie with a different team of characters? Not at all, because Guardians. I I I could see that, but like I think you're right. When when it comes to team up films, the most you get is three. Even the Avengers only got three. Uh, I guess four because Infinity War and Endgame, even though they're two parts of the same story. Right? The event, yeah. if you're as big as the Avengers, you get four, and even then, the Avengers broke up in between two and three during Civil War. Yeah, I, th- I think you you run and the teams can still exist, right? You had Guardians four, but it will not be with this version of the Guardians star. Right, and, and, and we're going to get an Avengers an Avengers five now. We've confirmed, but it definitely won't be the same lineup. Well, half of them are dead, so it's kind of hard to half do Half of them are dead, so yeah. Um, um, alrighty, so so moving forward, like I said, not a lot to say about Guardians. We have Echo, which I'm very excited about. Okay, let's... I, I think I'm looking forward to Echo. So Daredevil's going to be Echo, and I think that's all that matters. <laughs> Daredevil's going to be an Echo, which is great. Uh, I think it's worth noting here, even if we're not there yet, that Daredevil is also going to get his own show. Uh, they've confirmed that. Also, he's going to be so She-Hulk. I, also, he's going to shoot. Daredevil's popping up all over the place. And he's, he's also Everyone's Charlie Cox voicing Daredevil in the animated Spider-Man show, freshman year. Right. So, so I, I've said this before, but I think that they need to not give us any Daredevil backstory in this show. Daredevil needs to show up, be a scary boogeyman, and leave. I mean, apparently because what they're saying is two episodes. Two, two ep- Great. I love to hear that because... I, I guarantee you, Echo is not getting more than six. As much as that, we're six to eight, yeah. Echo's not getting more than six. Echo probably be six. So Ech- yeah, Echo is going to have a very limited runtime to tell its story, and I I want that to be devoted to Echo. And I think Daredevil makes sense as a cameo, given how much not ca- makes sense as a minor inclusion. Well, because Kingpin uh, given is how- partly directly right. connected to Echo. To, to Echo, right? It, it totally makes sense. Kingpin should be a very big part of this story, and bringing in Daredevil. Here's the thing: the thing I think makes sense is. If Echo continues to be a villain in this story, which I think was possible because e- Echo is a good person, but she, if you're talking about the superhero and supervillain dichotomy, she's a supervillain. Yeah, she, she's, she's think, fighting if, someone worse than her for her own purposes. She's not a hero. She's not doing right. something for the greater good. I, I'm sure I'm sure if she continues to be a villain in this, I think what would be great is if she continues to be a villain, Daredevil shows up, scares her, and then and then leaves. I would love I would love to see Daredevil as this silent brooding like so basically uh, the character himself john wick character i want to yeah. see daredevil show up and be john wick 
and be very scary and then leave. Or like do a thing where like you you know he shows up, you cut away. There's a whole bunch of dead people, and then you're like, oh my god. Yes. You know. Yes. I I I want I want Daredevil to be very scary. I don't want us to have scenes where we like retell Daredevil's backstory. It'll, it'll be interesting if they that. do any Matt Murdock. Like maybe there's a situation where she you know someone needs a like she's trying to a lawyer. She's yeah. tr- like she if there's a courtroom scene where like you know the story somehow in, is involved in that. Uh, and dare, and she has to like you know kill someone who's being on trial or something, whatever. And you have a lawyer situation there. I also think there are not to reduce characters to uh, to some of their traits, but I think there's a very interesting uh, parallelism between Daredevil and Echo, where Daredevil is blind and Echo is uh, I want to say deaf mute, right? Deaf mute, yeah. Yeah, I think I think there's a very interesting parallelism where you have this. Uh, both of these characters who are not defined by their uh, their disabilities uh, and and who and who still kick ass. I think I think but I think it's very notable that you have these two characters both without trait. Yeah, and I think Daredevil like it ha- she had to be in the show, but you also don't want to take the focus from the character who yes, is truly exactly. the character of the show. But um, no, I'm very excited for for Echo. I am too. I loved her in Hawkeye. So uh, yeah, I thought she was great in Hawkeye. And then Loki season two. Yep. Uh, we didn't no, get anything I don't want to spend that. So do you want to just like? No, I don't want to spend as much time on that because uh, I want I want I want to talk about new stuff. And yeah. The only, the only thing I have to say about Loki season two is that I thought the cliffhanger of season one was pretty good. And so, I think we'll get some solution uh, to that bef- in Quantumania, but right, of course. Uh, the Marvels. Uh, w- once again, that's not quite new. We knew about that already. Do you want to talk about how it's going to apparently be a little bit of a musical, just briefly? It's going to be a musical. I hadn't heard about that. Tell me about that. So apparently, and I don't know how valid this is, apparently it's... I've heard it from people who typically have inf- good information. They said it's going to be part musical. And we know Brie Larson can sing, you know, Scott Pilgrim yeah. proved that. Um, yeah, no, oh, I'm a huge Scott Pilgrim fan. I, I, one of the funniest things to me is how many superheroes incidentally are in Scott Pilgrim. Yes. You, uh, because you had Chris Evans, you had uh, Brie Larson, uh, you had, uh, I want to say there's at least one more. There's one more for sure, and I cannot remember. Who, who, who is it that I, yeah, uh, let me just go through the major characters of the film real quick. So, oh, yeah, Brandon Ruth, uh, who obviously is, you know, never in film. Oh, no, he, he's Superman in, in film even. Yeah. Yeah, Brayden Ruth. Yeah, so there you go. That's at least three superheroes in that film. And then obviously you had the former director of Ant-Man before they fired him. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, he never ended up directing it. But no, I'm a huge... Uh... Oh, no, I've forgotten. The, the, uh, Edgar... Edgar... Edgar Wright. Edgar Wright. I'm a huge Edgar Wright fan. Yeah. Um, as much as I can't remember his name. Yeah. Uh, but no, yeah. Uh, the mar- a, a musical is interesting. Part musical. I, I'm happy to see more Kamala Khan um who who both you and me have this weird uh connection to that the the actress who plays uh Ms. Marvel used to go to our nearby uh nearby I guess for most viewers mosque yeah. would be the, the term they don't yeah and also uh, Kamala this even pre this was is my all time favorite Marvel character so um, oh, oh that's your all time favorite all time favorite character? no my all time favorite Marvel character is uh if we're going deep cuts deep cuts um if we're going deep cuts, then the Runaways. Uh, I, I, if I have to pick a specific Runaway, Nico Minoru, okay. uh, which is why I'm happy to see her again. In, uh, actually, wait, it might be Alex Wilder. Ooh. Uh, we'll, we'll go with Nico Minoru for now. Okay. I'm happy to see her again in in, uh, in the new Spider-Man show. She's amazing bisexual rep. Um, I, yeah, so I'm excited for that. If we're going, but in general, I'm always I'm also a big Spider-Man fan. Yeah. Like my my deep cut is yeah, Spider- Spider-Man like, again. Yeah, Spider-Man top. Spider-Man is top that's Spider-Man character. is such a classic for me from from growing up. He is the he's such a he's wholesome without being cheesy. Is the thing I've always liked about Spider-Man because like he he deals with these very down to earth problems of like yeah I'm going to stop someone from stealing your purse. Mm-hmm. I'm like and I think they've done a, he's he's the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I think they kind of lost a little bit of the friendly neighborhood just generally in the movies because every time you try to make a movie of Spider-Man you have to make it big scale to some extent. I the first one, the Homecoming, the, was, homecoming was very much Homecoming was very friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. The, the stakes for that movie were someone is trying to steal a bunch of high-tech equipment. Yeah. It wasn't the world is going dead. I think even the Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire movies didn't do a great job with the friendly neighborhood stuff. Also, because they look like ninety years old, so it's hard to like you know make no, them yeah. feel Hol- like. Yeah, 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 no. Uh, Tom Holland is very baby faced. Yeah. I think they, I think they've done a very good job with that. Um. Anyways. Um, okay. Where where were we? Oh yeah, the Marvels. I'm excited to. I think it'll be a. a I think it'll be good fun. Uh. I, I'm excited. Also, Monica. Uh. Monica Rambo. We'll see you again. Right. Yes, we will. Great. 
Um, uh, Blade. Blade. But you just got a release uh, date. We got no more information on it. Uh, uh, the the we're gonna we're gonna, it's uh it's Marshall Ali though, which I think is yes. cool. He's the Great. star. He's the Blade. Great. Still weird though. I don't know why they're doing Blade. Uh, all right, Ironheart. We mentioned this earlier. Once again, not a lot of information aside from the fact that we're getting an Ironheart uh, yeah. show, not a movie. Uh, good setup for Young. We talked. We covered most of this earlier. Yeah. Good setup for Young Avengers. Let them fill the I- niche that left after Iron Man's death. Uh, interesting character could connect to directly to Kam- uh, Kamala by uh, MIT connection. And I'm sure they'll find ways to shove in other characters if they feel like it. Uh, absolutely. Uh, Wait for Ironheart. Tw- Sorry, quickly. For yeah, for Ironheart. No, no, no. I, I'm moving too fast. What's up? Do uh, you want? Would you be interested in the idea of hologram Tony? Uh, uh, if they, okay, I in no way want to see a AI Tony. That I would hate. If what they want to do is have because she's at MIT, which we saw Tony giving an endowment to in Civil War. It because at the beginning of Civil War, he's giving this big yeah. presentation. He says, I'm going to give a bunch of money to this university. If we see like her watching a recorded clip of him, and that recorded clip is new footage with Robert Downey Jr., that I'm okay with. Because in, in it, the Ironheart comics, the I, AI Tony is the thing and is like a. I don't want AI Tony, it's not going to be good. They have to pay Robert Downey Jr. a million dollars at least. But what if it was like <laughs> a like kind of like, yeah, what if, I think I'd be okay with the hologram message. I was going to say recast, but then I decided to not say you that. Can't you can't recast him. We had this it. conversation earlier with what if. You can't recast Robert yeah. Downey Jr. He's, he's too powerful. But if it's AI, uh, you can maybe make get away with that. Um, it's, then what's the point? <laughs> what's the point? Like, if, if we're just trying to get, get away with something. No. I think if you're going – if you want to have that spiritual connection between Ironheart and Iron Man, I think you have her – you have her be a big Iron Man stand essentially – and, and watch some, and then, and at most, what you do is you ever watch some footage. Yeah, and then uh, obviously, Rhodey will probably show up, and so you got that too. I would also love to see her. I don't know. I don't think this would happen in Ironheart, but I would love to see eventually down the line, especially with the Young Avengers thing. I'd love to see her and meet uh, Peter Parker. Yeah, I don't think because, that happened in... because 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 I think then both of them would have that connection to him as like a mentor. I, w- I would love to see that. I think I think if the if the rights thing with with Spider Man wasn't so complicated, I think we would get Spider Man. I get- We're not going to get Spider-Man in Ironheart, but I, here's the thing. Do you think we are going to continue to get Tom Holland Spider-Man as a part of the MCU? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes no, 100%. No? It just matters Great. How so the answer is. is yes. Then I think eventually in a Young Avengers project, he could be a part of that, and then we could see those two characters. Meet. I think he'd be too old to be a part of the Young Avengers, but like... You think, you think by... Nowadays, I think he's young enough to be a part of the Young Avengers. Maybe by then he'll yeah, be Yeah, that's what old. I mean. By then, I don't think he'll be considered a Young Avenger. Because, because, it, because in canon right now, uh, if we're going to say the archetypal Young Avenger right now is, is Kamala Khan, uh, and she, right now, she is, I think, I want to say junior year of high school. Yes. Some t- because, because Bruno got like an early acceptance thing to MIT. Yeah. So if she's junior year of, of of high school, Peter Parker is only a college – like, he's only two years older than her, canonically. Wait, no, the snap. I forgot. Do we know if Kamala got snapped or no? We do not know at all. We actually have – Because if she, if, she, if she didn't, he is uh, – if she didn't get snapped, he is still only two years older than her. If she did get snapped – he is. I don't think it matters. Wait, no, because no, no, no. I stand by my, I stand by my thing. They, they, they both. Uh, he, he's only, he's only two years older than. But me, I feel like so. it's gonna be an experience more so. Like you think, uh, Spider Man will end up being just even if she's he's the same or similar age, just the, by the experience of being someone who is in Infinity War. Like you think that you you're, can't. Oh, clap. you're you're saying he's two seasoned the veteran. Yeah, I don't think he's a he's like yeah. it doesn't fit the ethos of what that team is, which is an ex- inexperienced team which kind of goes and does their own thing. Uh, like it's kind of like Spider Man in in Homecoming, not Spider Man after. Endgame and Infinity War and all learning about sacrifice and all this stuff, right? Like, yeah, actually, while while we're here, I think we've we've got it all the Young Avengers. Who do you think? Give me your Young Avengers lineup. Um, you, assuming they kill the champions team? team as like a concept and they just do it all as one. Uh, Cassie Lang, um, Ironheart, Miss Marvel. Um, oh, oh, my! I'm um, Thor's child. 
Maybe. You think love? You think love? Maybe. Maybe. That's interesting. I have thought of that. Um, I think I didn't think about that until after Thor, and then I was like, oh, maybe this. What? What about the? Uh, what about Scarlet Witch's? Yep, yeah, the you twins. Think Wiccan, the twins. The twins, and then. Um, oh my God! Why am I blanking? The 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 one the the. the, the uh, I'll give you more details. Uh, to help you out. Like, Doctor yeah. Strange. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, America. Chavez, yes, uh, thank Karen. you. Yeah. Yeah. And then maybe uh, the Vision, depending yeah. on how. I, I think I think she she could because she, she's canonically sixteen. So. Yeah. Or wait, is she younger even then? I think she might be fourteen or something. Canonically, not I'm not sure, but I know her. The actress America is, Chavez is like eight, eighteen. So. She's super young. Fourteen, yeah. Okay. She's super. She's younger than. She's younger. She doesn't look it, but she's younger than Miss Marvel even. So. Yeah. So that's the. I think that's the. That's kind of the. I. I don't think it'll be. I'm gonna add one more to your potential lineup, which is in uh, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. We saw. Oh my God, you're right. Uh, we saw. I, I want to say the character's name is like. Um, it's it's like some, she. I forget. The name it's like the, Shield or the. It's like, it's like she, Shield. Lad. It's not Shield Lad, but uh, Falcon Winter Soldier. No, I know exactly who you're talking young, about, though. Young Avenger. Yeah. No. I, yes, but for the for the sake of the audience, who is the name up. of this character? Looking it up. Okay, no. Uh, 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 Eli Bradley is the, is the name of the character, but his his moniker is a patriot. patriot. Okay, oh my god, go. I'm so stupid. Yes, because he because he he's like a founding member of the Young Avengers. So I think so. If we add patriot, yeah. let's see. Let's go back through our list. So Cassie Lang, uh, Kamala Khan, uh, America Chavez, patriot, the twins, America Chavez, love. That's, okay, cut love out of I, it. I think I. If we cut love out of it. That seems unlikely. Uh, so that's 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 six. Yeah. Is are we missing anyone? Um. Oh, uh, Ironheart. Oh yeah, Ironheart. And then Hulk. Is, so, so Hulkling, then, I think, is a possibility to end up at the. I don't think we're gonna Hulk. I, I don't think we're gonna Hulkling. Uh, unless unless something maybe in She Hulk, we'll we'll get something that hints at Hulkling. But I don't think we're gonna Hulk. So that's seven characters, which is a bit much. I think the original Avengers team was six, so seven is it was. I, so I think if we lose one of those, maybe Eli Bradley, because that was that was like weak foreshadowing. I don't know that was strong foreshadowing. That that's our our potential Young Avengers lineup. I, I think you could you also see like we don't know what the status of Wanda's children are because technically they don't exist. Right, because they 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 technically don't exist in this timeline is, is, right now. If speed, yeah. if, like you do you need Wakan and Speed? I don't know. Like, can you just end up with one of them? I think you need both. I think I they're too, I think they're a package deal. I, I mean, I don't. Marvel can Marvel Marvel can like do they do even just bother with Speed or do you do Viv Vision as one of them and just you know maybe you just you know because. Oh yeah, isn't there a young vision yeah, character vision. in the comics? Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's interesting. Okay. Uh moving forward. Agatha, Code and the Chaos. Uh don't make this. We don't need it. Uh, I like uh Agatha. I'm I'm normally very positive on, on more more stuff, but th- we don't need this one. Sorry. Yeah. I'm gonna agree with you on that. Actually. Agatha's character was barely needed in WandaVision. We don't need more things with her. Catherine Hahn is a very talented actress, but the this I'm it sorry, depends on what they do with it. Either. It depends on what their plan for this is, because I we don't know what their plan for this is, so I don't know what to say. This could have been so many other things. This could have been my Runaways reboot. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like we don't know upset. what this sets up. Um, like that's the thing I think is like we don't know what the plan is for we this. We don't know what this sets up, but I am I am uh, I am. Uh, weak on the need for this. This is out of all the projects that this is the one I'm the least excited. Blade. I'm more excited for Blade. I don't than know why I you're not excited for Blade. Blade's gonna be awesome, but okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, next up is uh, Daredevil, Daredevil Born Again, which we mentioned earlier, and just it'll be great. Daredevil's ever okay. Nowadays. So I'm question for you about this uh, one. And then, so you're just complaining yeah. about the six to eight episodes. Daredevil gets eighteen episodes. Daredevil gets eighteen episodes. Yep. I'm losing my mind. This is this is unacceptable. That's that's like three seasons. So I have a question for you. Or, no. If yeah. So the... would you rather three months of one episode a week of Daredevil, or or sorry, four months of one episode a week Daredevil, or two months of two episode a week Daredevil? Ooh, tough. Uh, I'm I'm biased. I'm a writer. Uh, every every week there is a Daredevil episode. I get maybe one or two articles out of it because I I pitch a lot of my own stuff. Uh, so I, I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna say uh, four months is a lot though. But yeah, four months of 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 one episode a week Daredevil. It's, it's like four and a half months. They're not gonna do that. That's too much. I think they're gonna do um, the Daredevil I guess that maybe, thing. Maybe maybe it's not though. Maybe we're all spoiled by streaming and that like is that's how regular shows but work. Is, is is the one thing I'm gonna say is this. Just like you have the one thing Disney's gonna look at is 
Daredevil is going to be a a freight train in the sense that any other Disney show that releases anything that releases on Disney Plus, no one's watching nobody, it. Miss Marvel's numbers suffered because Obi Wan Kenobi. Now imagine Daredevil because of the overlap. Really, it, it, the the numbers suffered so much because. At least the analysis from this from people who, you know, because they obviously don't get a lot of the numbers released publicly, but from the people right. who've done the analysis and, you know, you got some of the rough estimates, the, because of the overlap between Obi-Wan and Kamala Khan and Kamala Khan being a less known character, Obi-Wan demolished her in ratings and it hurt the show substantially. Right. Anything released okay, in the vicinity the of Daredevil is done. Yeah. No, you're right. Because here's the thing. Disney Plus, when it comes to Marvel and Star Wars, they seem to be... They want to have one of those shows on the air almost all the yeah. time, which I think is a very smart strategy for a streaming. Oh yeah, because no, you've got one franchise so, of the two most popular franchises ever. Like. Right. Yeah. So I don't think you're right. It's not going to be four months as much as I'd like it to be because during that time they couldn't put on any other. To shows. be fair, they have I nothing scheduled like, for all of 2024 from I think it's May when it comes out. So. So so maybe maybe that's maybe that's our spring summer show is Daredevil. I don't know. Um. I don't think, here's the thing. I don't think we're going to get four and a half months, but I, I think, what, okay, what's most likely to me is they, first week, they drop three episodes. Yeah. Because they, they've done that before. They've dropped multiple episodes first week. So, first week, they drop three episodes to get people into it. And then you have the next 15 weeks, one episode, that's exactly four months. I think, I still think maybe four months is we much. could get that. I think you do. I if think they might try the two, double okay, episode and see what happens. If four months is too much, then you, if you think it's two episodes a week, then we get what uh, nine weeks? Yeah, that's probably more doable. That's like two, two, two months in a smidge. Like I would, I think, and I don't think it's gonna be like. I think the biggest thing is you're not gonna have a hard time getting people to watch it. No. So I think that's I think that's all they it'll, care about. I think it'll be interesting how the tone changes from the from from the defenders to because to. like I don't. You don't think, no, no, no. It doesn't has to have to, but it will because I don't. It's not the same creative team doing it. It's you have Vincent D'Onofrio, you have Charlie Cox, but who are the writers? Who are the directors? Who are TBD? The, I don't think we do any of this yet. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, TBD. But I'm saying I don't think they're gonna go get all the people who worked on the. But they make it show. some of them. So I think some of them maybe. So I, I, I would love to see maybe uh, directors change up a lot for TV, but I would maybe love to see the same writer. And Born Again uh, is also, also c confession. I didn't see the original Daredevil show. Well, you got homework I, now. I, I watched. I've got homework now. I watched two episodes that I topped out because I was like, I, I, I don't like dark and gritty stuff. I like more bit more bright, but more peppy. Uh, weirdly, I watched the first season of Jessica Jones, and I had no. Shit I didn't love that, Jessica but, uh, Jones as a character in the show. I, I watched the first season, and because I'm a big David Tennant fan, yeah. but that was it. I mean, yeah. I think. Uh, alrighty, and then I think we're almost at the end almost. now. We have Captain America: New World okay. Order. Let's talk a little bit about this one in terms of just like the title. What do you think? Do you like this title or no? Uh, notably, it was the first. It was so just worth mentioning. It was the title, of the first episode of Falcon Winter Soldier. I don't like the title. Um, it it conjures up a very lot of laden political energy, yes, so laden political imagery that I don't really trust Marvel to do well. My heart was broken by Falcon and Winter Soldier because... It's not, no, it's not that I don't trust Marvel to do it well. I think for me, at least, it's more... I don't trust the way people receive this to be good. That Okay, well, then that, that's kind of the opposite of you. But, like, for example, like... Uh, so in Falcon and Winter Soldier, we had, the, we had these characters, the Flag Smashers, who had these virtuous political goals, but maybe didn't have the best means... And then, but I, but that never really rung true to me because they would have these characters, these very good things like, you know, stealing medicine to give it to sick people. And then they would just have them randomly commit murder. It, it felt very inconsistent to me and not like, like I wrote a whole article about this where I felt that the Flag Smashers were trying to be Killmonger and failing because Killmonger really walked that line where you had this character who wanted equality, but had been raised and steeped in this American military industrial complex and because of that he could only he sort of he could only use the tools of his oppressors and those those unjust tools cannot create a just result yeah and 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 that and you had this really nuanced and interesting villain because of that and i think that the flag smashers did not measure up to that in my and opinion the reason that, that didn't work yeah. was because um of the thing we've been talking about which is it was too short it was okay you know what 100 percent agree with you
if you uh, give them if, more if, time if, for them to develop the characters, I think it would have worked yeah. so much better. I think you can't yeah. rush. If you want to make a character that kind of that is this Killmonger type character, you need to spend a lot more time on it. And I think when you don't introduce the characters to like four episodes through, uh, you have a lot harder of a time doing that. That's that's interesting though because uh, because Black Panther was only two was only two hours, right? But you had Killmonger heavily featured throughout it. That's the difference. Right. I guess it's a question of a percentile. How how much devotion? The Flagfisher yeah, okay. didn't really get runtime to the last two episodes. Fair enough. But yeah. So so New World Order it, is a title that you're right does not inspire confidence in me. But we that's the only detail we have. I don't want to. I don't want to. Well, we know Sharon Carter is going to probably be evil in it, but other than that, <laughs> no. That was also something I hated about Falcon and Winter Soldier. Now the one that we have Friggin to note gas, though is Gaslight Gatekeep Girl Boss Sharon Carter. I but this is the thing though. Another Canadian legend, by the way. Um, we have. <laughs> yeah, I, every time we mention the Canadian, we just I forgot about Maria Hill being yeah. a Canadian legend, so we have to. You forgot about Kobe Swallows yeah. earlier. That's that's all. That's on you. Uh, but the interesting thing is this will be the setup i guarantee you this is the setup for thunderbolts a hundred thousand percent yeah no, no 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 it is it is because thunderbolts comes yeah. out right after it too no, no you're right um so then after we have thunderbolts the oh, fine the only thing i'll say uh my man zemo zemo is my favorite villain in the mcu hands down because he he gets the job done in civil war he showed up he, he got won. the job done it he won pardon he won yeah it, it, no he wins in civil yeah. war and then i in 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 and, Cap- and Falcon and Winter Soldier, it's a little more mixed because he doesn't destroy all the soldier serum, but he does prevent, for the most part, new super su- su- that new super soldiers from being made. So I'm gonna ch- I'm gonna chalk up another win for my man Zemo. Who's your Thunderbolts team? Who's my Thunderbolts? Th- that great question. Zemo, uh, evil Captain America. I don't remember his name. A U.S. agent. Yeah. U.S. agent. Um, he has he also has an actual name too, like John something. I think. But, John Walker. Um, John Walker. So that's two. Um, if they can get a deal with Sony Venom, um, that's never gonna happen. So I don't have anyone. It's never gonna. Ha- I don't have anyone else. Who's who's the rest of the other um, You tell me. So we're gonna have. I think Ghost and or Taskmaster will be a part of this team. You look at the way these characters. Wait, Ghost from like Ant Man. Yeah. Because you look at them. The, that, that's a that's a deep cut. That's a deep. It cut. is, but it's also you think about like this kind of the the the, the this team is is that from the comics or is that you just doing a, a Galaxy? Uh, based on what they've. What the Thunderbolts have been defined to be, and based on where they left the, the character, I think she'll be a part of the team. Right, and no, but I 100 percent agree with you on on the other one you mentioned, which was Taskmaster. Yeah, I agree. Wait, was, did did Taskmaster not die at the end of uh, Black Widow? I'm um, assuming my brain is just not completely malfunctioned. I believe she's alive. Let I'll I'll okay, check this. Just double check this factually is quickly. Um, let's let's double check factually for for, for the fans. I, I, uh, I don't know why, but I have this image in my brain of her surviving uh, and being a part of that team. Yeah, yeah. Task, task, Taskmaster is alive. Yeah, she because she's of, on the uh, Yelena's team, right? Oh wait, what about what about um, what's her name? What about uh, Echo? Black Widow? Oh. Yelena? No. Yeah, she's a good guy. I consider her to be a good guy now. She's a good guy. All yeah. right. Uh, so, but no, I agree with you. I think Taskmaster is a good pick. Ghost would be really interesting, but I'm not convinced that the writers of that sh- of that sh- the show are. Ant Man was a movie. I think it's a movie, right? Yeah, it's a movie. Well, it's no, Thunderbolt. Movie, yeah. I'm not convinced the writers of Thunderbolts know who Ghost is because I didn't remember Ghost until you brought it up. Well, it depends so. on what her role is in Ant Man three. I think that'll tell us a lot because if she doesn't show up there at all, is she showing up in Ant Man three? But she is an Ant Man character now, so okay. if she doesn't show up, she's an Ant Man character. Think... Yeah. Uh, and then um, the, uh, t- the hammer. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Iron Man villain. Hammer. Justin Hammer. Justin Hammer. Thank you. I really hope we don't see Justin Hammer. I didn't oh, no, like him. And we're gonna see I him didn't again. Like him. No, I don't want to see him again. He was so bad at Iron Man three. Well, actually, I'll I'll make an I'll make a prediction here. It's kind of a bold one, but I'll make it anyways. Uh, we haven't heard anything about Armor Wars. We know it's still happening. There's a gap between for TV shows between Daredevil. What is Armor Wars? Explain to you what Armor Wars. So is, Armor Wars know. is a comic storyline in which basically, um, um, Hammer tries to steal. Justin Hammer tries to steal uh, Iron Man's suits and his technology. Wasn't that the plot of Iron Man Two? It was done badly. Okay, sure. Also, Iron Man is in it. Wait, sorry. Forgive me. I keep saying he was bad in Iron Man Three. Who was the villain in Iron Man Three? Uh, it was Mandarin, and it was um, it was Ard- Ardrich Killian. 
Oh, it was Killian and Hammer's Hammer and Whiplash. Hammer was in Iron Man Two. Iron Man Two. I didn't like him in Iron Man Two either. So you know what? Everything I say stand. Everything I said stands. I think, and he was in Ant Man Two actually too. Or no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. It was um, it was no, Sony Birch. Was... See that we're all struggling to keep straight. Uh, next yeah, thing you know, Sunny I would like Stan's gonna show up. Uh, he, uh, he has a daughter, so you know. So, okay, the one thing I'll say that could be interesting is maybe. What if we had Justin Hammer as the villain in Ironheart? No. <laughs> you don't think that can happen? No, it can't happen. I don't want what's, it to happen. What's, great. No, no, no. Let's be clear. I don't want. I don't want Justin Hammer to show up. He's not an I, I, I want. I want Obadiah Stane's daughter to be the villain in Ironheart. She, she's not a character yet. But we'll we'll see. Okay. But you can introduce new characters. Uh, and then. But that's phase five, which is very packed. Yeah. There's a lot of things happening. And again, that. like I think like things like um, Armor Wars will show up just to be more to add to the Thunderbolts kind of inevitability of being like Also, this. I think we missed it earlier. We didn't we didn't mention uh She Hulk Attorney at Law. Yeah, because that's coming out like next month, so I don't know if like, it wasn't really like Oh, I guess that's still phase four, right. Okay, fair yeah. enough. Um I mean, how excited are you for that? I'm ex- so excited because um two it's a the show around lawyers, like Come on, it's that's it. The show on lawyers is cool. Um, I hope they get the CGI better. I remember everyone was really down on that first. Yeah, thing. I mean, I don't like. It, it makes sense that it's a little bit rough because it's supposed to be like this kind of like but, thirty minute comedy. But why, but why don't they use practical effects? Because uh, like, look at Gamora. Gamora is like. I think it's intentional. It's flawless. Really? Because it's a thirty. Okay, it's I, a thirty minute sitcom, right? And it and typically when you look at a thirty minute sitcom, you have these kind of rough like you you think like. You know, you think they have these kind of rough around the edges characters on purpose. Like, all right. I think it's a more of a, a, a meme on the like concept of a 30 minute sitcom with a low budget kind of thing. I may maybe right. think too much about it, but like, that's my opinion of it. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, that's phase five then. Phase six, we have the Fantastic Four. Yes. Uh, what's, give me your casting. Give me your, give me your Fantastic Four casting right now. Go. Oh, I off the top of my head, I have nothing. I don't know. I go to different characters or different actors every day. Um, every day. I literally, I've, I've not been able to settle on what I want. I don't know what I want for this casting because initially, what Chris it be? Evans. I mean, no. Bring back Chris Evans, no. but the human torch. But like, I want just, I want no name actors. I'm gonna be honest with you. I want you don't no want people. John Krasinski. I want unknowns, complete unknowns for all of the characters. You don't want John Krasinski as as Mr. Fantastic. I don't think it's gonna happen, so it doesn't matter. All right, fair enough. Um, I don't actually have any good answers. I was curious to see yours. <laughs> I don't. Um, I just want them to surprise me. Some co- and I guarantee you, I'll guarantee you right now, D23, they are going to bring out that cast onto the stage. That's what they're going to do. Sure, I can do that. It, films, it starts filming next year. You have to have a cast, and you definitely don't want it to be leaked. So you're gonna, I think they're going to get ahead of it, and they're going to bring it out D23. It, generally, I think we get, we get casting details on things that are going to happen next year. So well, it's next year it will happen. Year. Right. No, no, I, I, what I want to say is because that film's going to come out in 2024. It's yeah. November 8th, 2024. So in 2023, yes, I think we will know the casting details. But I don't know if they want it uh, leaked. That's my only worry is I think they're trying to prevent it getting leaked. I think if they get, they want to get it. Even if they didn't want to, I think one year advance is a perfectly reasonable time scale. Because yeah. um, once it starts working, already, you get it, the possibility of leaking exists, I guess. But And then we have, we have our two-part Avengers uh, thing, Avengers the Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars. Um, so hold on. First I, thing. What do you think about two Avengers in yeah. a year? Two Avengers in a year is a, is a bold choice, Connor. We'll see if it pays off. Um, I, I'm i really not sure. Uh, I I don't know who the Avengers are. I don't know who so, the Avengers are that well, are going to be in this. This is the way this. I see this. And I can kind of – I'm going to give you – Doctor Strange, I guess. It will be Doctor Strange, but that's well, all like, I this, know. So this is why I see these movies because just looking at the scale of them, I think, well, two things are true. One – there's no other MCU movies that year except for those two movies because if you do, you're going to lose money somewhere and you're not, they're not stupid enough to do that. You'll get shows that year, but you'll right. get no other movies. We don't even have any shows set for that they, year. There will be. I, I, shows I, I, will I agree there, there will be, but we don't have but any. But I can right guarantee now. you there's no other movies that year because if you do, you're losing money somewhere and it, like you're not getting – if you put a, sh- a movie that is not Avengers in between two Avengers movies, you're making no money. Also, also, I'll point this out. Right now, we only have three Phase 6 yeah. movies. We have the Fantastic Four, and then we have the two Avengers movies. I think there will be more Phase 6 movies before the first Avengers. Oh, you know, 100%. There will be X-Men movie, I guarantee you, before that. Um, 
Right, but so I'm saying they might not, that, that, those might not be the only two in 2025. We could get like a February release for something. Nothing's coming up in that year because just because of the, the, the money and the, the fact that you want to maximize the money of those two movies. And when you look at the average moviegoer and the consumption uh, and like the, the, and the amount of money they can spend on movies than what they typically spend on movies, if you release anything else, because people know that these are coming up, you're going to lose money on whatever movie that is. I, I, I can see that. I can see that. Okay, but so, so right now, we know this is. The Kang Dynasty tells us it's going to be about... So Quantumania will probably give us a much better idea of what those movies yes. are going to look like. Loki Season 2 will give us a better idea of what yes. those movies will look like. Uh, so right now we are we are a few months away from having a lot more information. Uh, the thing I will say is that I would like to see... Uh, I Let me get the actor's name because I just loved him in the first season of Loki, our, our Kang from there. Um, um, the, the, tw- the, the twin, the... Um, oh, we're doing we're doing a real bad yeah, job. No. We're doing a real bad. Oh, Wilson, look at the cast, please. It, it wasn't no. Oh, Wilson was Mobius. That's not, I'm, t- I'm talking about he who remains, Jonathan Majors. Oh yeah, yeah. Obviously, Jonathan Majors gang is gonna be the. Well, he's he's showing up in, in, he in Quantumania, right? He's so he's just the definitive. Well, thing. every version will be a different version of him. Right, but will there be different actors? From no, different he'll versions? be the, at least from what I've understood about the way they're playing, like a, from. Because based on he, so the different version of him in in um, in Ant Man in the Wasp, which is a di- again, like you said before, a different version of him is yeah. Jonathan Majors. Oh, I'm so happy about that because I think he I think he did a great job in. They're Loki. gonna basically like split him in, in you know like what they did with Split and where they. I I because just because like here's the thing I had a lot of gripes with Loki I love no, no Jonathan, Jonathan Majors, Majors is as, going as to be Kang and I think they're he, gonna stick to that right. I, no, 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 no. I, I'm glad. I'm, I'm just gonna. I just want to explain why I'm yeah. happy about that, which is that I thought his performance was so good because of how comedic it was. Like he, like this is this is this very arguably dry, boring, exposition laden character, and he just kind of messes with them the entire time, and I loved it. And I think that's the um, one version. I think you're not going to see that comedic version. Like the apparently right. The that's probably not what we're going to see. Version. Version. Yeah. Um, and I think you'll get like you can't obviously you don't get the same stakes if you're a serious character, like if you're a funny character as the main villain like that. Um, no, but I think you'll definitely get some of that, right? And we maybe there'll be a Kang who's helping the Avengers out. I mean, it's an Ant Man movie, right? Isn't as an Ant Man movie, isn't it going to be more comedic? Well, apparently anyways? the at so, least from the the little leaked footage of of the sound of Kang, he's not the same Kang at all in terms of, like the tone. No, I know it's not the same Kang, but I'm saying the movie as a whole is going to be more comedic, so we might still get a com- a different Kang who's yeah. still you know. But I, I'm saying people. like it won't be the same. Like it won't get the same level of comedic even up to that Avengers movie. All right, I I can I can understand that, but no, okay. So I if we get a whole movie, a, a whole Avengers movie with Jonathan Majors as our villain, Two I movies. am thrilled. That is, he will probably well, he might not be the villain. In Secret I War. think he'll be Secret War could be a whole different well, thing. What I think this is, is what they're going to do is they're going to adapt Secret Wars a little bit in the sense that they're going to make it that Kang is kind of the villain of 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 Kang Dynasty, obviously, and then I think what he does and it will have ramifications and i think you may see a version of kang be a part of the avengers or be a part of that team um you know because obviously there is some good versions of kang and when you have the secret wars kind of uh situation uh y- you get that kind of you get some version of kang maybe not as the villain but as like a big as like a contributor factor all right you know i i can see that all right so we don't know so okay so but coming back to that question which we didn't answer oh god Sorry, my okay. Which we didn't answer is uh, who are the Avengers? Who? Doctor Strange. Yeah. Shang Chi. Who? Who? Yeah, Shang Chi. Captain I agree. Marvel. Uh, Captain Marvel. Uh, Falcon. I I think I think let's exclude the, oh uh, Captain America. Yeah. I think let's exclude the young yeah. Avengers from this because I don't think yeah let's exclude the younger um so that's that's four. Um, who else really? Um, that's really all we know, right? Oh, Ant Man. Is Ant Man? Will Ant Man still be around? Yeah. Then? Yeah. Ant Man or a version, so, a character. So, we'll Ant- so maybe Ant Man and the Wasp. If we're, if we're talking about a classic Avengers lineup. Yeah. Uh, she Hulk. You think She Hulk's gonna be on the Avengers? I do. I just, I don't. I think feel that. very okay. confident in that fact. All right. Uh, I I look forward to that. Um. Oh, uh, well, I. Okay. Let me get into a thing I have about She Hulk, which is. They never did another good Hulk movie, and I'm, I was really sad about. It. Well, I guess they never they never did a good Hulk movie because the original people didn't really like. Yeah. Um, 
I am a huge fan of Al Ewing's uh, Immortal Hulk series, the comic. Yeah. I it is it is it is one of like my favorite comics in years, and I want, I so badly want them to revisit the Hulk character in the MCU, using the Immortal Hulk because it was the same thing in the comics where Hulk was. Hulk was not a thing for years, and they brought him back using a mortal. I Hulk. don't. I think the Hulk chapter is closed. Well, that's a, that's the thing that makes me sad. Is because is because. Uh, oh God! What's the name of the actor who who plays Hulk? Uh, Mark Ruffalo. Mar- Mark Ruffalo's a great job. Yeah. Mark Ruff- Mark Ruffalo in the original Avengers movie was a perfect Hulk, and then for some reason after that, every movie after that butchered it. Avengers two terrible, terrible Hulk. Yeah. Um. Um. What was the next one? The Thor, uh, Thor Ragnarok. Uh, Thor, Thor Ragnarok. Civil, terrible Hulk. Or, no, he wasn't in Civil War. Um, so, he, was, he wasn't in Civil War. Uh, Thor Endgame. Ragnarok. Terrible Hulk. Uh, Civil Ev- War. Infinity War. Terrible Hulk. Avengers Endgame. Terrible Hulk. Mm. They, they, they. There hasn't been a good Hulk in years since I Avengers. think the closest thing to another Hulk thing we'll get is the inevitable Hulk Wolverine fight, which we'll get at some point down the line. Great. I, I no. I, I'm sorry. Like the reason I, I can't must be Hulk is because. She-Hulk, it was weird because I like the current She-Hulk, which is also, I think the current She-Hulk comic is, is also yes. very much focused on her being an attorney, and I, I, I've been reading, I love that. But uh, yeah. I until we get our actual Hulk, I, I can't quite get excited for She-Hulk. I, Would uh, you put um, um, Wolverine as an as a Avenger instead of as an X-Men no. first? If we no, don't, no, assuming no. we don't get until, an X-Men movie until uh, post-Avengers, would you, if, if Wolverine is introduced already no, in, a, in a show no. or something, no, you wouldn't do it? Uh, no. Also, who would be playing him? Because I, I keep picturing Hugh Jackman, but it's not going to be Hugh Jackman. Well, I, I mean, uh, there's a lot. I Again, another one where I want someone completely unknown for him. Um, All right, right. Here's, here's the thing. I don't think Wolverine is the first X-Men you introduce. Because right now... Storm we, is. We, who? Storm is the first one you introduce, in my opinion. And that, you do it in a end credit scene for Black Storm? Panther or something. You do it in a credit scene for Black Panther. Okay. Because she's you know connected I mean? to that... She's connected I, to that. You know what? That, comic. that I get that. Right now, the only thing we know about X Men in the MCU is Miss Marvel is the first one. Is that Miss Marvel? Miss Marvel is the first mutant that we that we know about. Yeah. And I also just you know shout out to that to that when that happened with the little like they played yes. the they played the music thing. I freaked that out when that so happened. Per- I freaked out. That was a great moment. So, but here's the thing. Wow. Uh, Kamala is the first unit in the MCU. She's not going to be part of the X-Men because literally in response to that line, she goes, I'm not interested in that. And we, we, move, we keep moving forward. Um, mainly because I think, I think what the, the, re, the purpose of that scene was not to connect Kamala Khan to the MCU. It was, it was number one, they said it was to give an explanation for the rest of her family isn't going to get powers. Yeah. And number two... It is to start right now establishing mutants as a thing that exists in the MCU. I, I think it is starting with her generation. And because also, um, is, Inhumans are like toxic cult to bring in, so that's yeah, we're not doing that anymore. Yeah, no. Uh, so starting with, I, I think starting with her generation, we are going to see X Men. So the reason I am I am less, I think we are less likely to see a Storm or a Wolverine is because I don't think we're going to see any mutants who are older than Kamala. I think it's going to be her generation. But what? Okay, here's a hypothetical, and I, again, this may be explored in the future. I don't know. What sure. if they? What if they make one of the effects of the snap of the of the blip, and then the snap, whatever that the, the you, some people when they came back, they ha- ended up with mutated genes. Like they, just, there's some. That would be interesting, especially because it would mean there would be mutants throughout the the universe because the snap was a universe scale thing, and that lines up uh, another divergence. I've really been enjoying uh, X Men Red, which is another Al Ewing, uh, Al Ewing uh, comic, and that that deals with alien mutants. Yeah. So I that that is a very good setup. I I don't know if that's what it is, but we'll, I don't we'll know, see. I'm just truly, yeah, truly, I'm just, truly just we'll see. Think. I I think like I said, I think that the mutant thing that is happening is starting with uh, Kamala's generation, and because of that, the first the first X Men we see will be someone young. So it so it'll Kitty be, Pride. yeah. I think it could be a yeah because Kitty Pryde was actually the first, weirdly also the no, who who did uh, Elliot Page play in the in the X Men with Kitty Pryde? Yeah, so I think Kitty Pryde could be the first X Men we see. Another or, Canadian legend, by the way. Another Canadian legend. Um, 
or maybe we could see like a young Cyclops or a young Jean Grey. Jean, is like Grey, a can, Jean Grey can be young and work. Jean Grey can be young and work. The question is, do we get a Xavier and Magneto? Because by definition, those characters are old. You know, you very rarely get it. You you wouldn't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would I, I would actually honestly, and I know this is probably super controversial. I wouldn't even touch them as even X Men people. Maybe Xavier, but nef- definitely not Magneto. You wouldn't bring them into the MCU. I would not have Magneto in the MCU. Why not? I think Magneto's story has been done so much, and now you see um, with the X-Men 95 cartoon, they're bringing him back as the leader of the X-Men. I think Magneto is a, a character you don't even need to touch. Bring in someone else as a villain. Don't even worry about ex- including him as a part of that story. That, that's, that's an interesting touch because I, I think you could get away without Magneto. I don't think you can get away without Professor X. I think, I think he needs to show up. Yeah, I, th- I think Professor X, I, I, you'd begrudgingly have to put him in. I think you'd do a... But I say bring in Mr. Sinister, bring in Arcade, bring in somebody first before you. Don't bring, bring in Arcade, uh, Mr. Sinister, maybe. Don't bring in Arcade. <laughs> well, like if you're doing a first movie villain, like you know, you can throw someone like an Arcade in there, and like it'll be like a fun. Kind oh of God, random... Arcade! All right, I okay. I think I think that's everything. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna tap out here. Yeah, thank you so much for coming. This was fun. I really enjoyed doing this. Uh, please edit down this episode. This is too long. But uh, aside from that, I was I was really glad talking to you. No, we don't edit things here. No, we do you don't edit things. Them. Okay, no. God, all my all my ums and likes and ums are gonna stay in. It's okay. Uh, all my ums and likes and ums are gonna stay in too. So it's all good. Perfect. All right. But thank uh, you so much for coming on. I really appreciate. Of it. We got to do this again at some point. Um, at some point. Tell you what. You 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 call me up next year. Okay. You call me next next <laughs> next, uh, next Comic Con panel. I'll come back. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. Um, thank you for coming. And again, check it. Uh, you can follow him on Twitter. Uh, follow me on it's... Twitter at uh, Alex Paul Soa, uh, and or if you want, you can go to cbr.com slash author slash Alexander Soa. If you want to go more directly to uh, my written works, but I also have that linked on the Twitter, so the Twitter's probably and excellent writer. So if you want to hear read more about movies and superheroes and all that stuff, Mo- movies and television mostly, and yes, lots of superhero stuff. So go check it out because everyone, if you're watching this at the and you've gotten this far, you probably love superheroes. Yeah, if you could listen to us ramble for ninety minutes, you should go. <laughs> you should go read stuff I've written where I actually edit it. Yeah. Exactly, because editing. Oh, what's that? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, but yeah, no, I will. Uh, I'll see you around. Thank you for having me on. See you later. Bye. All right. Bye. And I, and I do want to thank um, Alexander for coming on and talking to us and uh, talking with us about all this stuff. And um, now I'm just going to bring it to the intro, which is don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends. Uh, if, you're, if you're watching – this um you can go follow us on tiktok at comic boys underscore you can follow me on social media at color jamal zero three on instagram twitter all that stuff uh follow us on all the websites subscribe to the podcast feed um we're on all the podcast apps now and uh, i plugged the tiktok for the first time and uh, i'll be back at some point with more content and also watch our interviews because they're awesome anyways see y'all later Bye bye